Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Collection. And we thought a trip down memory lane alongside our favorite Metal Gear Solid bosses was a fun idea. So whether you're looking to take down a few mechs, or you're up for challenging a sniper legend or two, here's our top 10 favorite Metal Gear. The big encounter with the nuclear-armed bipedal tank, dubbed Metal Gear Rex, brought a chilling edge to the final moments of the Shadow Moses incident. Kojima and his team spent a lot of the story building up this potential nuclear threat. The fight itself was quite a spectacle, even by the graphic standards of 1998. The DARPA-built monstrosity had all the weapons, a mounted laser, rotating cannons, anti-tank missiles, and a token weak spot just like Star Wars' Death Star. In fact, it was a hell of a fight. That jumped from gameplay to cutscene seamlessly. But the cruel twist at the end, where an old friend sacrificed himself in order to help Snake put Rex down for good, made it memorable. Hurry! Get away! Great Fox, the name from long ago. It sounds better than Deep Throat. You're that ninja. The first battle with the Cyborg Ninja, aka Frank Jaeger, is easily one of the most intense boss fights in Metal Gear history, but more than that, it's downright creepy. At this point in the original Metal Gear Solid, we don't know that locked deep inside the exoskeleton is Snake's old friend Frank, but he certainly has a score to settle. During your hand-to-hand -hand brawl, the ninja backflips, he deflects bullets, he disappears into thin air, all the while he's taunting you, begging you to hurt him and drop in subtle cues that Snake should remember him. It's a palpable tension, both narratively and in the gameplay. This battle made you sweat and left you with more questions than answers about your formerly fallen comrade. Wolf was about revenge. The shootout took place during a snowstorm and was set to the soundtrack of Snake's heartbeat as he searches for a clean shot. It was all about the hunt in this fight, as you frantically sought Wolf while she dodged behind trees or carefully positioned herself on a hill. Yes, you could have used the Nikita and ended the fight quickly, but that would have only cheapened the incredible emotional payoff at the end of this battle. Sniper Wolf's actual screen time was very short, but this final battle ranks among the most powerful in all of Metal Gear Solid. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't... Snake's fight against the Sorrow in Metal Gear Solid 3 epitomizes Hideo Kojima's uncanny ability to throw unique, powerful, and unforgettable encounters at the player. The Sorrow isn't amazing because of its challenge or reward, but rather in a way it critiques Snake, the player, and the medium of video games itself. When you enter Sorrow's ethereal dream world and begin to trudge down his seamlessly endless river, you're forced to face ghosts of each and every enemy you've killed up to that point in the game. Kept your pistol holstered? It'll be a short hike. Killed every single thing that moved? Well, prepare to deal with the consequences. I, the importance of Psycho Mantis. He's the embodiment of all that is weird in the world of Metal Gear Solid, an outlandish rubber-clad ex-KGB Russian mercenary with psychic powers and a mean-looking gas mask, who spends the duration of the fight making you dodge spinning antiques. But it was his annihilation of the fourth wall, making you switch controller ports to avoid being mine read pretending to shut the TV off mid-fight, that helped cement Metal Gear Solid as a series to watch for its mission. No encounter manages to hit on as many levels as Naked Snake's encounter with the boss at the end of Metal Gear Solid 3. Not only was the boss pivotal in the events of Metal Gear's faux history, but as Snake's mentor and friend, she helped shape the man that he would eventually become. Aside from this, the fight itself was a tense, gorgeous battle that acted as a culmination of the camo and CQC mechanics that Snake Eater taught the player throughout the course of the game. Among her final words to Naked Snake is the emotional statement that foreshadows the events of the the rest of the series. One must die and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. It is our destiny. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. And the one who inherits the title of boss will face an existence of endless battle. I am here to send you to your ultimate fate. 
Who could ever forget the Cobra Unit's legendary sniper fight with the end in Metal Gear Solid 3? Stressful sniper fights have been a part of the series since the first Metal Gear Solid, but the end rose the stakes in an unprecedented way. The crafty, camouflaged 100-plus-year-old sniper's movements were tough to decipher. He could sit quietly, waiting to pull the trigger, or run towards a completely different site on the battlefield if he was detected. Kojima Productions gave us an epic one-on-one -on -one encounter with a sneaky AI-driven shooter in the wide open jungle. And for the first time, all the pentazamin in the world couldn't remove the genuine feeling that you were the prey instead of the hunter. The unique approaches you can take to defeat in the end are what make him so special though. Being able to sneakily take him out hours earlier with a crack shot, or simply waiting for old age to catch up with him are both valid and very funny options. That sets this great boss apart. For more videos like this one, make sure to watch our preview of the upcoming Metal Gear Solid collection, and for everything MGS and more, you're already in the right place with IGN.